Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So previously, I talked about the Gunslinger full build, especially for the SS build, the sniper rifle and the shotgun weapon build. In that video, I used the gold weapon given by the game to the selected guider for us to test on the Gunslinger. So more or less, with a more developed build, you can already have a glimpse of how the Gunslinger will be for higher level gameplay. Now, some of you have had asked for the early game build. Knowing how the gunslinger can be on higher level with more well put together build, I have some idea of how the early game build should be but oh boy, I couldn't be so wrong. The gunslinger in the early build can be tricky to build. For start, as a sniper rifle and shotgun weapon gunslinger, although at higher level, using skill deal way more damage than the normal attack but that is not a case at the lower level. So what could be wrong? Shouldn't the SS build depends on skill to deal damage? Here I met a new character in the new server, Gunslinger Revenge under the main server Loki. The server is actually already over one week old but I just met this character a couple days ago. So I am a bit behind in term of character level but currently the new server is having the delayed double EXP event which should be happening in the first week but was postponed so thanks to that I was able to double my leveling progress and now I already changed job to the second job rebellion in about only three days but also because of the double exp event my bill is basically trash the equipment progress can't keep up with the rapid exp growth with only few days in the game I also do not have enough stamina to gather materials to upgrade refine and enchant my equipment well, I think that is the cause for leveling too fast. Anyway, yes, I am playing in the new server and I am using the Gunslinger. And as you may already guess, I am using the Sniper Rifle and Shotgun build. Alright, now here is the thing. Observe the damage when I use the Sniper Rifle to do normal attack. And now using the Tracking skill at level 1 to deal damage. The normal attack actually deal higher damage than the Tracking skill. How can this be? shouldn't skill deal higher damage than the normal attack even at level 1. If not, what is the point of using skill, right? There's something wrong with the gunslinger skill damage computation or the skill description is missing something. But I remember in Mr. L video, he mentioned something about the skill damage. I didn't quite understand at that time, but I think I understand it now. Although the game hides Although the game hide the details or not being transparent to the players about the damage multiplier on the different type of weapon for Gunslinger, but we know that from the Taiwan version, the sniper rifle deal 518% damage and the shotgun deal 152% damage for each bullet. If we compare this amount to the skill multiplier damage, now it become obvious why the normal attack deal more damage than the skill. Apparently, the 500 18% damage is only accounted for the normal attack. When doing skill attack, the weapon will deal the original 100% damage. So tracking skill at level 1, it only increased the physical attack damage around 300%, while doing normal attack already give you over 500 physical attack damage increase. So how can you get the skill to deal more damage than the normal attack? You need to use higher level skill. With higher level skill, the skill damage multiplier is is increased. To deal at least the same amount of damage for the tracking skill as to the normal attack, I find that you need to use the tracking skill at level 4. Tracking skill at level 4 deal over 400%, but by using the sniper rifle, you can get additional damage, which then now make the skill damage deal more than the sniper rifle normal attack damage coefficient. For automatic rifle, you will need to use higher level skill damage, because auto rifle has lower normal attack damage coefficient efficient compared to the sniper rifle. So at tracking skill level 4, it has 11 seconds variable cooldown. To have 11 seconds cooldown, you need about 900 hast or 392 dex. So what does this mean? Before you can utilize the skill to deal damage or before you have around 392 dex, 
you basically better off with just using normal attack. This makes a lot of the sniper rifle and shotgun user at this point to think that the dex has skill type build for SS gunslinger is not viable. Well, at this stage, you are not totally wrong. Your build is not there yet. That includes me. So currently, this is my build. I am going for the typical crit build. I am using the level 40 wide penetration accessories and level 40 physical attack wide talisman. I am not yet able to use the level 70 wide crit talisman. At this level, I play my sniper rifle and shotgun gunslinger as the auto attack crit build. Later on, I may want to use the blue dex accessories and pair it with the level 70 wide crit talisman for crit damage. And for two reasons. One, to get as much dex as possible so I can have high health to use higher level skill. And two, so I can have more versatility to play it as a skill spammer or as a normal auto attack. Do you see where this is going? To make it more relatable, this setup is similar to the hunter crit build. All of the gunslinger skill can crit, so playing it as a crit skill spammer is also an option on which the hunter can't do so despite having high health with high dex because not all of the hunter skill can crit. Now how about luck? From the dex or luck video that I made for gunslinger, the luck will give more physical attack with the light or heavy weapon mastery and banishing buster skill combined. So here is one other option that you can do. You can use one blue dex accessories and one blue luck accessories. Depending on the stat that you needed more, you can play it around with the Prontera enchant. Alright, moving on to the skill. Right now, the skill concentration field, heavy weapon mastery, and snag eye skill level are put to max. Concentration realm skill although has a long skill cooldown but it lasts for 60 seconds. The skill effect is longer than the skill cooldown so not an issue to use it at max level straight away. Magical bullet and banishing buster skill I also put it to max mainly because I want to get the physical attack buff that scale with the luck stat. The other reason is to get damage boost from the ghost element. Magical bullet skill give 15% ghost element damage. Banishing Buster skill give another 20% ghost element damage to a total of 35% elemental damage increase. This is a quick and cheap way to get damage boost at lower level. Some may argue that it is better to use the element converter as it gives higher elemental counter damage at 50%. Well, while you are certainly right, but I said it at my previous video, using elemental converter is so much expensive. At lower level, you will not have enough zeny to sustain the cost for using the elemental converter, especially for AFK overnight grinding. While using the magical bullet skill still costs zeny, but it will cost less than the elemental converter for the same effect duration. Camouflage skill I put it to only level 1. It makes you invincible when reloading for only 1 second regardless of skill level. At max level, the hiding state is still 1 second so no point of getting it to max level. Crimson Mark skill has a high skill fixed cooldown. This skill is only effective to be used with the Predator Crimson Marker passive skill. Otherwise, this skill may can only be used during MVP hunt, instance boss or PvP at this point. With my current simple and not yet fully functional build, I can one shoot kill the monster around my level just by using normal attack, which make my level farming quite efficient. Alright, I hope you learned something from this video. There are more to explore for the gunslinger. I will keep on level up this gunslinger and explore more about its build. So stay tuned for more gunslinger video. At the same time, if you have any tips for the gunslinger, you can share or let me know at the comment below. That's it for this video. This time video shout out goes to Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.